so this is baby Leo's corner everything is ready the clothes are washed ironed and packed nice and tidy finally we found the elephant from Ikea this was a gift um, here I found this idea on Pinterest and here is his bed it's here now when I give birth we're gonna put the side to side next to our bed and here we've got the hospital bags for baby Leo and for me hi mommy's up there hello um, mom club 2021 hello to all mommies up there that I choose soon my estimated delivery date was um, 11 of January 2021 but according to my doctor uh, I'll probably give birth earlier so my bags are packed they are ready and here I'm gonna show you a minimal a hospital bag without carrying unnecessary things or forgetting anything uh, I prefer packing two different bags one for the baby and one for me uh, and uh, yeah let's see what's in the bag so this is baby's Leo bag <laughs> First of all, you will need a blanket. I personally packed two blankets, uh, one like a uh, thicker blanket that's really, really warm for and one uh, lighter one. Here it is for his bed. I packed two towels, two bathroom towels. The one is a normal towel, and the other one is with this like hoodie thing. Then I have two face towels. These can be used also for like wiping the child down or cleaning um, uh, him or her if you don't want to use uh, wet wipes. I've got one, two, three, four little sheets. These can be used for the car seat when you're leaving uh, from the hospital they can be used for in the in the bed they can be used for covering up uh, if you're breastfeeding and you have any uh, visitors but now due to covid there's no visitors but if you just want to feel more like comfortable you can like put this on top of you to breastfeed or for the car seat uh, I personally don't, uh, I always use one of these, I don't, even with the first, first born, I never put it on the, in the car seat without using like a sheet or something. Then I got these, I've got five, like, um, I don't know what's the name in English, like, um, no, these are not bibs, like, for cleaning him or her up uh, from milk or wiping him down, uh, anyway, these don't, don't, uh, take, oh my god, it's even so hard talking anymore, uh, these don't use, um, they don't take a lot of space in the bag, so I'm carrying extra, a lot of these things, I'm sorry. Um, one, two, three, four, four pairs of socks, and 
and three mittens, I think they're called, like for the hands. The babies usually really scratch themselves. Um, and these are handmade. My mom did these. My firstborn wore these. They look so tiny. Uh, I'm carrying these just, I don't know, maybe you, you can like put these on top of the socks if, if it's very cold. Uh, you can wear this like, I don't know, I just want to see how it would look on him as well. Um, then we have... these I know it's quite a lot but maybe I'll just put two yeah that's what I do I'll put two okay. and then we have I'm packing four of these These are the long sleeve vests for under. These are the long sleeve vests. I have packed a short sleeve as well. My mom said it's not necessary. I'll, I won't wear those. It's winter, it's cold. And then on top of those four, I've got the full body, four of the full body ones. got this for coming out of the hospital so cute nice and warm so soft oh my god I can't wait so cute brush I don't think I'm gonna use this but anyway and for my firstborn she had a gift a little rabbit uh, but for baby Leo this is a gift from his sisters and because our bedroom and everything is an elephant theme I'm taking this to like imagine my firstborn is four years old and she still she still sleeps with the little rabbit they brought as a gift when she was born so I'm taking this for baby Leo and now I have had a packet of wet wipes these are with no parents no alcohol or nothing to cause, uh, to cause uh, allergies I'm packing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uh, pumpers. These are the smaller size, number one. I'm okay, carrying, um, how we call this, a nappy rash cream. Oh, smells so nice. Uh, no parabens, no nothing to cause allergies. Uh, dermatologically approved. And the only thing left, even though I don't think I'll need it, is the baby shampoo, the baby body lotion. Us usually, they use uh, these. They use their own at the hospital. But anyway, we have ordered the Mustella bag. I love the smell of Mustella products. We're waiting for that one, and I'm just gonna put the bag in this bag, and everything is ready for the hospital. Nice and neat. Uh, just don't forget, everything is washed with um, baby. Uh, uh, so 
So everything is washed with the baby deter detergent. I can never with the baby products and the softener, whatever. These smell so nice. You should always use. Oh, like follow the instructions. Babies are so sensitive; they can have allergies. I remember the first one; she had a lot of allergies. So everything is washed with the baby products. They are ironed, sterilized. The bag was wiped with a, a Dettol spray before we put anything in here. And now I'm closing it up. Everything is neat. The thick blanket and the outfit for home is in here. Yep, packed. I'm gonna be closing this up. And just I wanna show you here the pram is ready. We have uh, this was the we'll just go closer. The pram I use for Melanie. I'll just go to the other side. Yeah, this is uh, from Netherlands. It's a Dutch uh, brand. Uh, we cleaned it, we sterilized it, we sprayed it with the towel. Everything smells nice, it's clean. And we're not taking the whole pram. We're just gonna take off the car seat and uh, put it in the car when the day comes. Uh, yeah. That's it.